This is a tutorial of how to use the gallery field of the widget creator by unlimited elements. The gallery field is not a standard field. It doesn't work like the other fields where you click add attribute and just add them. To add a gallery field, you need to go into item attributes and in enable items, click yes. After doing that, underneath you will see add image based fields. What this button does is it creates the items into a gallery field. I'm going to click on that and it adds this field over here, which is the gallery field. I'm going to click update and go into the HTML. Inside of the HTML, what we're going to do is in the widget HTML, we're going to click put items. What this does, it generates the loop for your gallery and underneath we need to define the loop item. In the loop item right now the only thing I'm going to put is an image but as you can see when generating the gallery field it also adds a title, a description and a smaller version of the image which is a thumbnail. But right now we're just going to put a, a list of images to the page going to click update again to save and we're going to test this out. So this is a very basic demonstration and of course you can do anything you want with it. You can put it inside a jQuery carousel or slider or gallery. That's what it's for. But right now I'm just going to show you how the field looks and how it works. So I'm going to search for gallery example, which is the name of my widget and this is the gallery field that we've created. If I'm going to click plus it just behaves exactly the same way uh, the element or gallery field does so I've selected a group of images I'm going to click create a new gallery and then insert gallery and you can see now there's a list of uh, URLs from the image so now we have you the UR, the URLs of the image and I'm going into edit widget HTML and over here what we're going to do is open an image tag with source and I'm going to push that attribute inside over here let's refresh And now we can see all of our images as a gallery field. If I'm going to click on them. You can see them also over here. If we're going to edit, you can reorder them by drag and drop. So now the blue one is going to be first and the red one is going to be last. Blue one first, red one last. So this field is very, very cool and helps you manage your images. And if you have a carousel, a gallery, or anything that is image-based with a loop, this is the field that you're going to uh, want to be using.